Here's the formula we came up with at the end of the last video. So if we are rotating a region under the graph of y is equal to f of x over the interval a comma b about the y-axis, we can find that volume using cylindrical shells. And here's the formula down here. v is equal to 2 pi times the integral from a to b of x times f of x dx. Let's actually uh, see an example of, of doing some calculations with this. So let's say that, I, I say that we want to find the volume generated by rotating the region bounded by y is equal to 1 over x squared, y is equal to 0, x is equal to 1, and x is equal to 2 about the y-axis. So let's start by drawing a picture. We don't need to do that in order to use the, the formula, but I think it will be insightful to see what's going on here. So let's see, we've got bounds at x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 2. So let's draw those lines. Then we've also got y is equal to 1 over x squared. It'll look like that. And then finally, we have y is equal to 0. So the region in question, that's the region that we're going to be revolving about the y-axis. So uh, when we actually do that, the picture that we end up with looks something like uh, looks something like that. This is, and, and, and there is a hole in the middle of there, that's, so, you can't really see that hole, but, but there is a hole in the middle. Okay, so, so this is the, we want to find the volume of this region. Here's the setup, so the most important thing is figuring out what is the f of x here. That's the height of the shell. And that's just going to be 1 over x squared minus 0. So here we see that f of x is just going to be 1 over x squared minus 0, which is just 1 over x squared. So when we go ahead and write down the formula that we want to have here, so v is equal to 2 pi times the integral from a to b. Well, the region that we're integrating over is x is running from 1 to 2, so those are the bounds here for integral. x is running from 1 to 2. x times f of x, we just said, was 1 over x squared. And so this is the integral we have to evaluate, pretty straightforward integral for us to do. So let's, let's uh, do this integral. x times 1 over x squared is 1 over x. So that evaluates that integrates to a natural log of x. Evaluate that between 1 and 2. And so we have natural log of 2 minus natural log of 1. And we should know that we can't simplify that natural log of 2, but we can simplify that natural log of 1, because we should know that that's equal to 0. So our final answer here is just uh, 2 pi times natural log of 2. Okay, so, so that's our first example of actually applying the formula here. Uh, pretty straightforward to do. We'll, we'll do some more interesting examples later on, but I think this is a good place to end with a pre-class problem. So I want you to do what we just did uh, for this region right here.